Whether it be our crippling culture, crumbling cities, or chaotic crime, we need to reevaluate what's going on within the black community because honestly, I feel like the solution is right in front of us. Let me tell you, growing up as a black man in America has been very interesting. From hating my skin and my hair to loving who I am today, and from hating this country with a burning passion to traveling abroad and understanding why people immigrate here in the first place, I've learned a lot. And as I've grown and listened to the perspectives of black people on the left, the right, and everywhere in between, I found some interesting overlaps that I want to talk about. Video after video from the city to vandalism. Right now, Most from the of chaos those we saw are downtown black, black, black how 72 people were shot in one weekend. Before we dive into this video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Aura. I don't know about y'all, but these spam calls are getting ridiculous. And not even just the spam calls, but all these emails too that I'm getting for things that I never even signed up for in the first place. I'm sure you're annoyed just as me, and honestly, it did get me thinking. How do they have all our information to begin with? Well, it's these data brokers that pull in all the information they have on us and they sell it off. Which is beyond shady and creepy that everything about you is just out there floating and getting sold left and right. However, with Aura, all of this comes to an end. Aura is a service that protects all of your information and does the work of a ton of different apps but in one. They do the reaching out and tell data brokers to remove your information, which is huge because while data brokers are legally responsible to take down your information when you ask them, they make it really hard to request to do so, so having Aura take that off your back is amazing. Spam call protection, identity theft protection, financial fraud protection, it's a VPN, password manager, and much, much more. Literally, it does everything under one app that is nationally respected and recognized. It's digital protection for everything that matters in my life, and given that my life is online, I'm glad to have Aura protect me and by my side. It's easy to use, it's sleek, and it's a one-stop shop that I've honestly been dying for. There's literally an app for everything nowadays, so having everything in one spot just makes me feel so much at peace. So either you can continue to let people profit and exploit your private information, or you can go to Aura.com, A-U-R-A slash Amir to start your two-week free trial. This is also linked below in the description. Police brutality. Listen, I'm not here to tell you that all police are amazing and nothing bad ever happens to the black community. What I am here to do is to share with you a new perspective. Does police brutality matter? Yes. Do cops get away with police brutality? Yes. Do we want to strive to get to a place where police brutality is reaching all-time new lows? Yes. I'm all for the changes and initiatives, but we need to get realistic with how bad the problem already is. Because what's frustrating to me is that we have a ton of black people who genuinely think that there are thousands of young black men getting shot and killed by the police every year. You guys know how many unarmed black men were killed by police last year? No. I know, I know people. To guess, what would you say? Over a thousand. Over a thousand? I say a good, like, probably like 1,400, about there. Too many to count, probably. And that's just not the case. If we're looking at 2022, 12 unarmed black men were killed by the police. And I'm well aware this is a little bit of a different scenario, but I bring this up to show perspective. What's crazy is that in 2022, while 12 unarmed black men were shot by police, 19 people were struck by lightning and died. That's how rare this is. There are more people routinely getting struck by lightning and dying than black unarmed people are being shot by the police. And yet, even though we have these numbers, you have people blocking traffic and saying all cops are bad, when in reality, you're more likely to be in danger walking down the street in the hood than to be dealing with with any white cop at all, and that's just the truth. We need police in our communities, but this is how we treat them. And by no means do I condone this behavior. It's sad, but I low key understand why they feel the way they feel. I understand why a lot of black people despise the police and our youth is being raised to just not respect them. I hated America to its core because of the false narratives that the media was pushing. I felt like I had a target on my back and that the police hated me just because I was black. And when you're being told that an entire group of people who serves the government who's supposed to be protecting me actually hates me and wants to kill me, that really messes with one's mental health. I mean, hell, the media wouldn't dare show you footage of our troops overseas getting shot and killed on TV, but what they will show you is black people getting killed on live TV. It's actually messed up how much the media is playing with our minds and society as a whole. Truly, I just wish more people, specifically black people, looked at the data for what it is. Again, I'm not saying all police are amazing and nothing bad ever happens, but compared to how our reaction is, it doesn't really match what's going on. Community crime rates. Studies, statistics, and surveys all say that black drivers are far more likely to be pulled over than white ones. They're also more likely to have guns pointed at them by police, to be detained, handcuffed, searched, 
and arrested. The harsh reality is yes, this is all true, but damn, let's take a look at our community as a whole. Who is making up most of the crime? Who is making up most of the robberies? Why is it that people that look like me, black men make up roughly six, 7% of the US population, but commit nearly 50% of all the murders and robberies? We talk all day about being the minority, but we make up majority of the most heinous acts of our society. We need to take accountability for that. Black people have killed more black people this year alone than white cops have killed black people in the past 10 years. Yet I'm supposed to be sitting up here crying about the white man and hating police. It doesn't make sense. And then I, I listen, and then they're going to say, oh, well, bringing up black on black crime is deflecting. No, it's just the harsh reality. I'm addressing it for what it is. Takeoff, PNB Rock, Young Dolph, King Von, Pop Smoke, Nipsey Hussle, X, all these rappers dead. And by who? Black people. Where is the line between being racist versus looking at the data for what it is? Context matters. It sucks being profiled. It really does. But we haven't taken into account how the people who look like me act in our society. We're out here demanding to be respected, but we don't even respect ourselves. Community behavior. Some breaking news off the top. Hundreds of teens flooding into downtown Chicago tonight, smashing car windows, trying to get into Millennium Park, prompting a major police response. Within the past few minutes, shots were fired near the corner of Madison and Michigan. This is how we're acting now? Really? We get slapped the label all the time of being rude, ghetto, entitled, loud, thieves, thugs. The list goes on, but look at us. Are they wrong? Honest conversation, are they wrong? Hell, these lootings and teen takeovers nonstop. Who's making, who, who is doing it? Who is doing it? Look at the videos, look at all across the United States. Who is doing it? Obviously, I'm not in the crowd. And there's a plethora of black people who are not in the crowd. But when we look at the consensus of all these crimes and heinous acts, it's not looking cute for black people. We're already such a small segment of the society, but for some reason, when we get together, it's always trouble. The city of Miami Beach declared a state of emergency over the weekend after a deadly start to spring break. Two fatal shootings and some out of control crowds also forced the city to impose overnight curfews. This is the third year in a row Miami Beach has taken a emergency measures to control a surge in visitors. It just blows my mind. It's like a meme. Like when black folk get together, none of us know how to act. It's the unfortunate truth. There's no excuse for this behavior. It's a complete lack of structure within the black community and the homes we're being raised in. We've got deadbeat dads that are not around, hello, including myself. And then we have emotionally unavailable mothers who are too busy working, trying to provide to the child to the point where they can't even raise it. Got all these kids in the school listening to all these rappers and horrible music. Little boys looking at the people like Blueface who's performing in high schools. and looking up to rappers like Future, who Juice World accredits his fatal drug addiction to. You always had issues with drugs even before you started to get famous and uh, rich. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, it was something that I was into early, low-key due to music. Cause like, I was a music head. So like in sixth grade, seventh grade, I'm hearing songs about sipping lean. Those are like the real influential years, I feel like. And then on the flip side, you have little girls looking up to people like Sexy Red, who raps about the color of her genitalia. I'm out of town. And women like Cardi B, the woman who made WAP. Yeah, her who's getting brand deals from Baby Shark. Got here by doing things my own Sharky B way. Like our behavior has gotten to the point where even corporations are fleeing the neighborhoods. Target announced today that it's closing nine stores in major cities next month because of theft and organized retail crime. First, a developing story. Walmart announced today it is closing four locations throughout the city. Walmart even said this in a statement. They said, the simplest explanation is that collectively our Chicago stores have not been profitable since we opened the first one nearly 17 years ago. These stores lose tens of millions of dollars a year and their annual annual loss is nearly doubled in just the last five years. If I go to any Walmart in the hood, they all look like this. Why? Well, no, it's not because of racism and being in a predominantly black neighborhood. It's because the black people won't stop stealing. And if it's not stealing, all it takes is for one white cop to shoot one black guy and that gives him some random excuse to just go loot and tear down the whole thing. Black Lives Matter. During 2020, we saw some of the worst looting possible. And for what? These people did this 
for no reason. It's not going to bring George back here. George is in a better place than we are. And last night, I'm going to be honest, I wish I was where George was because this is ridiculous. These people are tearing up our livelihood. This is, the this is why I pay no attention to Black Lives Matter. The least of my concerns as a black man in America is white people. It's white people this and white people that all the time for no good reason. We have got to do better. Black Lives Matter raised nearly $100 million in 2020, but where's the money? What has changed? What has improved? Please tell me in the comments and let me know. Hell, you look at any holiday, Labor Day in Chicago. 32 people have been shot in the Chicago over the long holiday weekend. Three of them have been killed. One of the youngest victims of violence, a six-year-old boy. Like I've always said, if a white cop shoots me, it's hashtag Amir Odom. But if a black man shoots me, it's... And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying organizations like Black Lives Matter can't exist. I'm just saying the amount of attention they have versus the things actually impacting and affecting the black community, it's not matching up. Again, we want all this respect, hell even reparations, but we don't know how to act. Reparations. What happened with slavery is absolutely awful. Everybody agrees with that, it, it was just a bad time. And we can acknowledge this history all day long, but we cannot let it distract us from the present and the future. My ancestors' trauma cannot be healed with a check, nor do I need one. I can entertain the idea of living victims, getting a check and getting reparations, but we're too far gone from that. Has our government been responsible for horrible racist acts? Yes, America's not perfect and I'm not saying they are. But we have to ask ourselves, in what world do we actually need and deserve reparations when all we're doing is tearing down our own communities. Looking objectively within the black culture, black community, how we act in race relations within the United States, how is money going to change anything? The whole reparations argument to me is a complete distraction. It will not help the atrocities that are facing the black community, of which are often inflicted by ourselves. Instead of uplifting each other time and time again, we trap ourselves in these little boxes, making sure that we keep our black card and then go about our lives bullying anyone for stepping out of line. Self-isolation. We live in this free country, but our mindset is still locked down. Growing up myself and countless other black people were told you're talking white why are you listening to white people music why are you eating white people food this drove me so far into de a depression personally because it's like damn i'm just never good enough i'm being told white people are racist and they hate you but i'm also being told that i'm not black enough to hang around the black kids it's just like damn i can't win we want to be free and accepted so damn bad but we're the first people to exile and bully anyone that is black for thinking different why are you listening to white people music okay cool so because i don't want to listen to music with pill popping killing people and shaking ass all of a sudden i'm not black enough and i'm getting exiled the ghetto and it's gotten to the point where even joe biden recognizes this behavior within the black community you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or trump and you ain't black he literally said if you have any trouble any doubt thinking about biden versus trump then you're not black he's completely disregarding any black person who's not a democrat why can't black people be republicans why can't black people be independents why do we have to stick to the narrative and stick to the script that whoever has laid out for us and that's just the rule book because damn when i'm looking at the black communities that are predominantly democrat across our entire nation it's like why do we keep voting for the same things time and time again but then complaining about nothing's ever changing that's that's insanity insanity is just doing the same thing but, but just expecting a different result but you're not gonna get that why not try something different why is that so bad to do it's just this monotonous state that we're all in just taking everything mainstream media says for face value and going about our day and what we feel at a real Realize that we have all the tools necessary to be the change we wish to see in this nation. We cry and cry for change and progress, all while not changing at all. We just sit there far too often and view ourselves as the victim. Victim mentality. It is time to stop blaming everyone else but ourselves for our lives and our actions. I damn sure can't help what someone does to me, but I control 110% of how I move forward. White man this, racism that, enough. I promise you, the second you start focusing on yourself, your goals, your dreams, tunnel vision, and move forward, the faster life will progress for you and the happier you will become. I could have easily set back and accepted this narrative that yes, black people will always be behind and white people will always be ahead of me. That is because I didn't have a father in my life. That is because 400 years of slavery and oppression. That is because the white man's always ahead of me. That is because I didn't go to the best school. That's because of everything else except for me. It can be so easy to throw in a towel, but you cannot allow yourself to do that. The solution. We have got to be the change we wish to see. Generational wealth this, generational wealth that. Build it. Build that wealth.
This year in 2023 is the 50th anniversary of hip hop and there's nothing to show for it. Hip hop has been around for 50 years. Not a single hospital, not a single school, not a single bank, not a single supermarket, not a single distribution company. How can we call hip hop a blessing to the black community when that type of money being made off of our culture in the community doesn't benefit from it at all. We've accomplished so much as black people, have become so rich, and it, it, where is these investments at? Where, where, why is our community still like this? It's because of the culture and how things are progressing and no one's making, no one's really trying to change it. We have to remember, we are our ancestors' dream. I am my ancestors' dream. And you've got me figgity figgity up if you really want me to sit here and sit back and think that I'm living in the same America that my ancestors are living in, let alone my grandparents were living in. This is a different time, new era, and it is the best time for any black person to, to, to really go after it and prosper in this nation. Oprah, Michael Jordan, Tyler Perry, Jay-Z, Yay. There are far too many people that we have seen make something out of nothing and have just blown up and became billionaires in this nation. And don't get me wrong, I've talked a lot in this video. I'm not saying disparities don't exist. I'm not saying black people have it 100% easy and it's gonna be a shit to, to no. I'm not trying to say that. What I am saying is that we all have the opportunity to become who we want to be and it's not always the white man this, white man that. No, as a black American, you can get up and do anything you wish to do. It ain't gonna be easy, but you can do it. I know and I will, I will overcome any disparity, any racism, anything that's thrown my way, cause there ain't that can shut down Amir Odom. And the same can be said for you. Cause I know I'm still black to this day. I still get profiled. I still deal with racism. I still deal with, with all these prejudices. They're there, trust me. And all those billionaires I just named, they talk about it too. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, oh my gosh, all these black people are billionaires and they're amazing, but neglect the struggles that they talk about all the time. They've gone through hell and back in this nation and so can we. Ultimately, there are a ton of things that the black community needs to address and get in order in this nation. This country is not as bad as we make it out to be and there's a lot of change that can happen if we actually start to sit down have more conversations and really address all the really all the things that I outlined in this video regarding the black community. If we fix the culture and how we live our daily lives I think there would be tons of progress made within the black community. With that being said, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If it resonated with you or you think someone would appreciate this, please send it their way. It helps me out a ton. Be sure to subscribe. There is tons more content like this coming down the pipeline. And again, thank you to all my amazing supporters over at amirodom.com. You can join the Discord there and be a part of the community. We have so much fun talking, networking, hanging out. It's just a great time. And remember, you can achieve anything you put your mind to in this nation. Do not let anyone stop you, anyone shut you down. Go after your goals and dreams prevail and you can overcome anything you put your mind to. With that being said, I'll be sure to catch you in the next video. Deuces.